empty parking lot. D-Rock here, you first outdoors. That's right. I am on Lake Powell. It is mid-December. It's cold. Uh, I'm definitely looking for stripers. So I followed the latest Wayne's Words fishing report. And I'm going to start at about 100 feet and start graphing and see if I can find the schools. Now I'm heading to the back of canyons where I'll do some uh, spooning and trolling. And I'm only going to hit Rock Creek and Last Chance, and I'm more than likely will be camping tonight. So uh, <laughs> it'll be a cold night. Anyway, I'm not gonna waste much time. I just wanna get to it and hopefully uh, find some of these schools of striper that uh, people are getting into because I would very much like to find that. Ride out, not so bad. Man, I really I really layered up for this one and uh, it's pretty comfortable. The uh, ski goggles helped out tremendously. So I'm just going to ride around and start graphing once I hit about 100 feet and I'll work the back of the canyon, trolling, graphing, spooning, hopefully we can find something. If I come across a, uh, a school, what I'm going to do is uh, I made this, I got this little float here, tied a little weight to it, I can just chuck it out and that way I can come back and find the school. Sounds like a good idea anyway. So there you have it. Return to Lake Powell. Hopefully we get some striper in December. Winter fishing. Let's rip some lips, baby. All right, like I said, mid-December. When I left the ramp this morning, it was 30 degrees. That's right, a balmy 30 degrees. Who wouldn't want to be fishing in this weather, right? Uh, water temperature pretty much stayed consistent at uh, 57 degrees. It's not too bad, really. So, hopefully we find them. That looks like something. Huh. All right, we're gonna drop a spoon down, see if anything's happened here. Start with that. See what happens, I'm at 118 feet. We'll give this one a shot for a second. Well, that yielded nothing. 
going. I might head back into some shallower water and do some trolling. But I'm gonna graft to the back here. Let's see what we see. All right, I'm gonna do some trolling. I'm gonna start out with this. I'll put the, uh, I've actually brought the boxes these lures came in. After the trip, I'll put them down and if we catch anything, I'll show you what, what these are. About 70 feet of water, I'll go ahead and toss back and <coughs> see if we can pick something up. I'm keeping my expectations low, <laughs> really low. So if I get skunked, I'm not gonna get my feelings hurt. Uh, Truth be told, I don't have a lot of experience doing this in the winter, so. This is how you get it though, right? Fish on, fish on, fish on. <laughs> oh, oh, you feel healthy. <laughs> Sorry, my excitement. Oh no. Oh. oh, fish on. Yes, it's a fat striper. <laughs> Got you. Oh, mercy. Oh, oh. oh look at this thing. Oh, no. Look at this. <laughs> Didn't get skunked, baby. Woo! That is a fat striper, man. <laughs> All right, I hit him in about 30 something feet of water and there's a school back there. They're actually coming to the surface. So, uh, I was using this lure here. God, I forgot the name. Don't worry, I'll let you know. But um, I'm actually gonna try casting some spoons over there because they're actually coming to the surface right now. So, this could be epic. In a massive school. Look at all this. If I if I pick that up. Oh, they are back here. Fish on. Fish on. Oh, another fat, healthy one. Oh yeah. Oh, it's a little football. <laughs> Oh, look at that. <laughs> That's a fat little one. Nice. <laughs> Sweet. Oh, fish one. Oh. Good Lord. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, there he is. Fish on. Oh, oh fish on. Oh, good. He hit the bejesus out of that. It's already worn out. Look at this. I've already caught so many. I busted off one of the one of the, the spines of the treble hook, and the other one's bent. Man, this lure's just about beat. I've caught so many off this thing. Let's see if I can bend that one back up a little bit. There we go. Now we're talking. Jeez. Get another one. Oh, 
fish on. Get. God. Dang. Dragging a brick. One after the other, one after the other. Jeez, oh, man. Christ, I the rod out of my hand. Oh, I was going into a turn. Smoked it. Is he got him or is he swimming towards me? There he is. He's a small one. Oh, they're small, but they're fat. Oh, mercy. And this is a Rapala Deep Shad. So I'm going to try this one. And wow. Let's see if we can pick up one on that one. Give the other lure a break. Whoa, he got real skinny right there. Three feet of water. Boom. Oh, fish one. Fish one. Yes, they'll hit on the Rapala Deep Shad. Oh, it's a big one. Oh, that's a big striper there. This one, whoa, <laughs> look at that. That's a healthy striper. Wow, it's <laughs> on. <sighs> oh, mercy. I just got this one on 11 feet of water. <laughs> It's either slowing down, the school's moved on, or they're not quite as interested in this one. This is not as deep diving. So I'm gonna go back to this one, <clears throat> get a little farther down, maybe we'll get some more action. It's a good thing I got two of these because this one's just, just about had it. <laughs> it's beat up. Wow, I went from zero to a hundred and then from a hundred to zero. So nothing's hitting on the trolling now. I've made a couple passes and I'm seeing a school down deep about 50 feet. So I've got my marker back over there. I tossed it out earlier and I was just trolling back and forth to it. I'm gonna go pick it up and drop it over <clears throat> where that uh, seems like a big school is. And maybe I'll start spooning there and maybe we can dig a few more up. Right 
right at 50 feet. Not too interested in the spoons. <clears throat> Give us a couple more tries and then uh, go back to wandering around, see what else we can run into back here. Fish on, oh, fish on. <laughs> Where's my belt? Oh, there he is. Oh, there he is. He came out the water. He's a dancer. Is he a striper? Oh, he's a striper. Huh. How about that? <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> All right, had a slow spot there for a second. There's plenty of these back here. These are fantastic eating size, and they're they are healthy too. Check that one out. That's a nice striper. Yeah, buddy. Oh, fish on. Oh. Good Lord. Oh, that's a nice one. And he's off. <laughs> Self release, nice. Fish on, fish on, oh, fish off. Damn. Ah. Fish on. Oh. That's on that pass. Looks like they're schooling up again. Oh, yeah. Pissy. Oh, they are well fed too, let me tell you.
Oh, they're nice, healthy fatties, man. I haven't caught a skinny one yet. They're all extremely healthy. Yeah, one. Mercy. There's a school hanging right back there. Every pass, I pick one up. As soon as I see it on the graph, I go over it. Boom. Fish on. Oh, yeah. Nice. So the last few passes, I've been using the Rapala Deep Shad and uh, man, they, they can't take it. They're just slamming it. And it's a little more shiny and reflective than the, uh, the other one I was using. Maybe since the sun came out, uh, they're picking it up, but I don't know. I could be wrong. Who knows, right? That's just fishing for you. I found the school again. It took me a second. They moved off, I guess, to the east over here. And they're hanging deep, about 40 feet. Oh. God, you feel like you weigh a ton, but you're not that big. <laughs> oh. oh man, they are fat. Okay, where's my flyers? Ain't nothing sluggish about these guys. I got multiple hits, I just couldn't connect. So I got this guy. There we go. Ah, damn it. Got a spine right in the legs then. Oh. I'm telling you, they are fat. They are feeding well. Yeah. <laughs> All right, it's 2.10. That sun's gonna be down. It's already down back there. Right here, it's all right. But uh, it'll be dark by 4.30. Yeah. I just, I don't know if I wanna spend over 12 hours in a tent at freezing temperatures back here. Uh, I'm gonna make one more pass and think about it. It's on again. <laughs> oh, as soon as I saw the school in the graph, I got a hit. Oh. This lure is absolutely trashed. I'm missing the back trebles busted. I've only got two hooks on it. The front treble, they're the, they're all bent out. <laughs> it's great. Oh man, I mean my wrist and arm is sore from catching so many striper. What? 
ridiculous, absolute epic day, epic, epic day, unbelievable. I'm, I'm, I'm now a believer in uh, winter striper fishing. Absolutely, it happened. It's here. It's going on. Crazy man, crazy, crazy, crazy. I'm not going to tell you how many I've caught. You probably wouldn't believe me anyway. But uh, we're in the double digits for sure. I think I made up my mind. I think I'm going to head back actually. Just a four-hour drive versus over 12 hours in the dark in the cold tent just does not sound appealing to me right now. So, yeah, I think I'm going to pack it up and make the run back. I was going to camp if I didn't find any fish today, and then I was going to go to another canyon uh, tomorrow and work it and see if I could find fish there, but I, I boom. I mean, I found them today, and it's too. I mean, I've just I've been I've been catching them for four hours straight, just four hours straight nonstop for the most part. A couple of slow passes, but then I'll find the school again. It's just bam, bam, bam. It's uh, they've destroyed the two the two lures. They're all bent up, beat up. Unbelievable, absolutely epic. Well, it started out dreary, but it certainly. Turned into an absolutely beautiful day out here. Wow. All right, Mr. Olson, they're here. You need to get out here. Thanks for uh, putting a spark under me. And I wanna take a minute to thank subscribers. Thank you so much for sticking with me. I know the Lake Powell videos are kind of here and there, but um, they're gonna keep coming, absolutely. So appreciate you sticking with me and continuing to be a part of You First Outdoors. And also, I'd like to uh, take a minute to thank uh, the patrons. So thank you very much. And uh, there you have it. Another epic day on Lake Powell, mid-December. Winter striper fishing, off the hook, literally. Ripping lips, stupid. So I'm gonna get all dressed up again in my clothing. And my ski goggles. As you can see, I brought lots of gas, wood. I brought a heater. I brought all kinds of stuff to, to hack out the night. But mm -mm. <laughs> out of here, man. I'll be back soon, though, for sure. All right, well, it's already close to 2.30. As I said, it's lights out, man. You can see the sun's just about down the cliff there. So when that happens, it gets cold quick. So I'm out of here. And uh, I'll go over the lures and everything once I get back to the dock. So we'll see you there. Okay. <laughs> Time to ride.
right, that's about it for the sun. So like I said, I wanna show the lures real quick. And this was the Rapala here. And it's the shadow wrap, shad deep, swim depth five to six feet, jerk bait slow rising. As you can see, pretty reflective, pretty cool. And then uh, the other one was Reaction Strike XRM Series, 100 MD, dive six to 10 feet. So I got a little deeper with this one, and then you can see what color, how that one looks. And you can see also what's left of the back treble hook and how warped and bent uh, the front treble is. I had to re-bend those a few times. You can actually see on the Rapala too, how the back treble's about broken off too. And then the front ones I had to bend too. So both these lures took a beating for sure. I mean, it was, it was an absolute epic day. It was incredible. And I won't lie, I'm glad I'm not camping. <laughs> Uh, I just didn't have it in me, you know, it's, it's cold out here right now. So there you have it, folks. Winter striper fishing, it's happening. Um, it worked for me today. I've been skunked out here in the winter. So, you know, it, it you never know, I guess. But, uh, the most recent Wayne's words, uh, fishing report is accurate it's it's dead on for the most part so just special thanks to wayne's words and wayne gustavuson appreciate you going out there and pushing up for all of us to to get an idea of what's going on out here always thanks for that also just want to thank subscribers and the patrons as well uh, we appreciate you please stick with us uh, lots more to come there you have it fishing lake powell december stripers we'll see you next time tight lines d rock out adios